Mansions of Madness, Return of the Reanimator, Part 10. Vincent is startled at the sound of Caroline's pistol, she lets a few bullets fly, and he notices one of the monsters acquires a new hole, and a splatter of blood covers the wall behind it. Then, the room is filled with the unmistakable click of a firearm, with an empty chamber. Caroline throws the gun at the monsters, and runs away from them. Dexter uses this distraction to his advantage, and disappears into the shadows. Sneaking his way past the monsters and back into the morgue, Dexter notices that the stone is clinging to his knife, this must be some kind of magnet. He thinks out loud, then as he reaches the door to the hidden laboratory, he is startled by the sight of a third zombie, and drops everything he was holding on to. Meanwhile, Vincent charges down the hallway at the monsters, swinging his sword cane at one of the creature's wrists. He cleanly slices off one of its hands, the monster seems shocked at this, and Vincent dives past them into the secret passage. Daryl tries to follow after Vincent, but one of the creatures grabs a hold of him, thrusting with the fire extinguisher, he manages to shove the zombie down the hallway. Dexter is looking all around the floor, Trying desperately to find the stone he dropped, he notices that all of the severed hands around him have begun moving, frozen in horror, he hears the monster groan as it begins moving towards him. Daryl prepares himself, as the monster begins walking towards him. As it gets close, Daryl shoves the zombie to the ground, 